Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to take you through Expansion Manager in a way that I've never done before in so much that I'm also going to show you the pitfalls that you can go through in order to try and get this to work. It's a very, um, it's a little bit of a difficult topic um, because people certainly have struggled with this. So I thought well, I would take some time and uh, take you through how to do the whole process from start to finish. So I've got my trusty USB stick and I'm going to pop it into the front USB port of the Genos 2. If you've got an SX900 or if you've got an SX920, Genos 1, Tyros 5 even, the process is absolutely identical. So follow this step by step. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to tell the USB stick that I've got a Genos. At the moment, the stick is blank. But what the Genos will do is send a little code onto the USB to say there is a Genos 2 and this is the information it needs to know. So you press Home, go to Expansion, and you have the option to Export Instrument Info. Click that, and then click OK. OK. And now, on my USB stick, I have just sent a code to the USB to, so that the software that you download, which is at Yamaha Expansion Manager, uh, for those of you who don't know, there is uh, Yamaha Expansion Manager is the software that you need to have in order to put sounds into your instrument. So you must install the latest, and it has to be the latest, version of Expansion Manager available. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to add the Genos to our Expansion Manager software. So all I do is take the USB stick out, and then I go over to my computer. And here is my Expansion Manager software here. There we go. So you can see here there is no mention of my genos at all install target what is that well if you've got a genos one or an sx920 maybe you've got two or three instruments they all appear in a list here and at the moment there is no instrument at all listed so i put my usb stick into my computer and i simply click the little plus icon to add my genos and there's an option that says import instrument info. Well, that's exactly what we've just taken out of the Genos 2. So I now go to my USB stick. And you can see there's the file. If I click open, it's now added a Genos 2 as an instrument that we can use to load packs into. Brilliant. Step one is now complete. Then we now need to add the actual packs that we want to load into the keyboard. So I'm lucky I've got I've saved my packs onto my desktop so I can add the packs that I want into Expansion Manager. Now let me just sort of give you an idea here. Expansion Manager software is like a record library. When you've loaded a pack into Expansion Manager, it stays in Expansion Manager. So you don't need to keep loading the packs into expansion software. You just simply do it once and then it stays. So I'm going to take you through the process of loading a pack into here. So if you click on where it says my packs at the top here, it goes purple. And then same as we did by adding something, we click the plus icon here and we say import pack. And of course on my desktop, I have got the packs that I want. So I'm going to load in Symphony Choir. So I highlight the pack which ends with .ppf and click open. And the software will open in Expansion Manager. One thing to note is the Expansion Man Manager will also load older expansion packs that have UVI files. So if you've got one of the older packs or something that's been created only using a UVI file, it's the UVI 
dot uvi file that you click on to add and hey presto look we have a pack installed already so that's one so let's go and add another so i'm going to click plus again import pack i'm going to load epic strings three it'll do a little sort of bar and there we go it's installed that's two packs let's add another for for the final uh Let's go for uh, let's go for Klaus H. There we go. That's installing. And ta-da! We have now got three expansion packs in our expansion software. Now, if I was to close this expansion software, you're probably thinking I would have to load the packs back in, but you don't. Once you've loaded them into Expansion Manager, they are there forever until you sell your computer but basically these will not go anywhere these are here now for you to choose to load into your keyboard so as you can see three packs i've got my little genos 2 mentioned there if i click where it says genos 2 you now notice that these all turn a little green icon little green tick so we've got a tick there tick there and a tick there that means all three of these packs will install however if i lick if i click on the epic strings first pack and look below you can see there's little green ticks on these voices as well so if you want to micromanage the the packs you can choose if you wanted to to turn off certain voices so i can turn off anything and turn them on so say for example string machine i don't like it and don't want to use it i can turn it off to save memory in my genos so it's a good idea that if there's a particular voice you don't like it untick it because then you're not wasting storage space in your genos okay we're next at the uh, next step so all three packs are ticked i can see here this number here tells me that I will be using 692 megabytes of my existing 3072 megabytes that are in the keyboard. And there's a little indicator here as well to sort of show you. So all you need to do now for the next step is click save as pack install file. And it will automatically give the pack a name genos to pack install data. Now, if I want to, I can actually give it a name that's more memorable. So seeing as it's the month of June, I can call it June Pack. Okay, and it's going to say, where do I want to save it to? Well, I want to save it onto my USB stick. So it's on the USB. There we go. And this is the stage that everybody misses. And this is why 99% of the time packs don't install. Because the Yamaha's default option is to have pack quick install file, which doesn't work. Choose pack installation file. So it should be dot PPI, pack installation file. And then click save. It will then ask if I'm happy to save it. You say yes. And it is now putting the pack onto my USB stick which then I can load into my keyboard. Now, as I've said before, the packs that are in Expansion Manager are there forever now. That's it. They're in Expansion Manager. So you can take the USB stick or wherever you've, you've loaded the pack from and simply pop it in a drawer. Uh, you don't need to use that file again, only as a backup should anything happen to your computer. But anyway, it's busy working your way here, Luke creating a pack, and you get a green bar that moves its way across the screen as the progress sort of goes. Oh, <clears throat> I'm just waiting for this to, uh, to get to the end. There we go. And it now says the pack installation file has been created. So you, you're safe. Your new pack to load into your Genos or your SX or your Tyros has been completed. So we click OK. Now all we do is take out the USB stick from the computer because it's got our file on it. And we go back to the Genos. So let's do that. 
so here we are back at the genos again and i'm going to put my usb stick into the instrument and luckily i'm still on the same expansion menu on the screen however let me go back to the beginning just in case you aren't so press home page two expansion here you choose pack installation and hey presto you can see june pack if i click on june pack it says start installing away away we go start installing so what it's going to do is it's going to wipe the packs that are in expansion manager to start off with a clean slate and then it will start to load the packs now this will take a few minutes depending on how many packs you've got if you've got quite a few packs you can be talking 25 to 30 minutes installation time but luckily we've only got three packs installed in here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pause the video until we get to the point where the packs are nearly complete and i should be back okay we're nearly complete so i just thought i would quickly uh, recover the video and we're waiting for the final few seconds where the pack just there we go completed right now the wonderful thing about genos 2 is you don't need to turn the keyboard off so if i simply click ok on the screen and come back to the main menu my pack has now installed now there's a bit of confusion with the word pack because whilst we're loading lots of packs so we've got three packs and then we're saving it to one pack for the keyboard it's like sort of gathering all your books together and putting them in the box that's kind of what we're doing so it's now loaded that um that pack so now if i go to my voices i go to user expansion and there's my three packs on the screen if i go to symphony voices and choose the first voice he says there we go it's on voice use at voice two choir and if i go into another pack i can simply use the little cursor at the bottom go to epic three strings And there are the packs. All three are in there. So we go to the Klaus H organ. Hey Presto, your pack's installed. And it's as easy as that. Well, it isn't as easy as that because the the expansion manager software can do lots and lots of things. Um, and in another video, I'll show you how you can edit some of the voices and sort of go into voice changing um, things like changing the volume, the release, effects, all that sort of good stuff. But this is how you load your packs into your instrument. And it's not as complicated as everybody seems to think. It's just making sure that you don't hit those pitfalls for example where you have to save the pack remember save as pack install file and you forget to make sure that you use pack installation file and not pack quick installation file other than that you're good to go so if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up um if you want help with other other videos you can always um have, take a look at the genos club if you go to patreon.com forward slash genos club we specialize in everything genos sx all yamaha products and uh, there's tutorials styles content new voices new packs there's lots for certainly for anybody who's got a yamaha arranger but if you have found this video useful click like and give us a subscribe and we'll see you again sometime soon thank you ever so much for watching take care Bye bye